Continuing coverage tonight, Bowling Green considering requiring everyone to wear masks in public. Michael Tater talking to people downtown and shop owners who are mostly on board, but do believe business could take a hit. I think it could affect us though. Could affect business, could affect small businesses especially. Business owners and residents in Bowling Green are preparing for the possibility of another new safety order being required to wear a mask out in public. Bowling Green City Council is exploring the option, but residents don't seem too worried. I don't think it's a bad idea. I don't see how it would cause any problems or any detriment to people going out and still enjoying their lives. I think it's pretty smart considering the university is doing the same thing when we go back in the fall. But with Ohio's cases being on the rise, it's probably the best idea instead of closing everything down again. City Council President Mark Hollenbaugh says they are waiting on Governor Mike DeWine to possibly issue a statewide mandate. The governor praised Dayton for its decision on Twitter and encouraged other cities to do the same. Bowling Green State University student Julie Dibble says it makes sense. Everybody coming and going for school and business and everything and BG being such a passing through city, I think it's probably a good idea because we never know where people are from and where the outbreaks are. As for businesses, the state has so far left it up to owners whether or not to require customers to wear masks. Joyful Creation owner Gail Brim says she offers masks inside her shop, but she did take down a sign in her front window because she thought it was affecting business. I think it could affect business because you have such a diversity of people's opinions on that. But she added she has told customers that she has a right to require masks to keep both her employees and other customers safe. I think people would feel safer knowing that they're being protected as long as they agree that they need to wear something to protect others as well. City Council is planning to move on a mandate by its July 20th meeting if the governor hasn't. In Bowling Green, Michael Tater, WTOL 11 on Fox 36.